So in the last videos, video or videos, we made the expansion link and the die block. This is gonna go in the expansion link and fly back and forth. And uh, now what's supposed to happen is this, the rod that goes through the die block, is supposed to be this rod and it's supposed to tie everything to this fork here. Now, uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of, I don't know, messing around here because, I, and I know what happened, is in the drawings I had switched all these holes. This hole should have been 3 sixteenths, and I switched it, but I forgot to update um, the drawing or I might have done it after I made this part. I don't remember, it was so long ago. But these holes are a quarter inch, so I have two options. Uh, weld these holes shut and uh, uh, re-drill them, three sixteenths, or we can try to we can try to correct this here by doing the following. So here we have th these are the this is from the fork, and this right here in the middle is the expansion link. And um, we're going to make this in kind of two pieces. We're going to go, first we're going to go make this part here. It's just going to be a simple turning operation. Okay. And this is going to be a quarter inch. It's going to go down to three sixteenths. But it's going to continue and be threaded ooh, into this part here, which would just be a quarter inch. So we'll thread those together, and then uh, now it still can move kind of back and forth. So I left some extension here on each side to um, put either cotter pins or some kind of other kind of pin there. So we're going to see how well this works. If it doesn't work, I'll have to go to the fork and try to modify it. All right, so I just got some cast iron stock in there. Uh, I think it's three quarters of an inch. The smallest one I had, uh, 840 thou, so so oversized. So we're just gonna face this off first. So let's see. Where we're at. Two fifty eight, two fifty five. So, uh, let's see how this fits. <coughs> oh man, that's that's tight. I'm going to do a spring pass. This hole's harder to get in. I might put a drill bit through this hole so it can fit easier. So I put a drill bit through the one side. Now I can get on. It's a little stiff up here at the top to get through. But it's pretty good. There's no play in that. Um, <laughs> that's really fun. Uh, I'm turning this down anyway to um, accommodate the thread, so that's going to be 3 sixteenths of an inch. So let me figure out how long it needs to be. Uh, we only need about a quarter inch of thread, which is right about there. All right, we're going to thread this 10 by 24. Hit that one, the shoulder a little bit. That's okay. This is hit the thread gauge. See if that's 10 by 24, and I'm sure you can't see it. Yep, that's right. Put some uh, 
oil in here. Should be a look at this down there. This barely clears the ways of the lathe. And then I'm going to turn it around so I can uh, use the untapered edge of the die and get straight to the shoulder a little bit of oil on that Oh, you saw it here. <laughs> Damn. Alright, so I tried that piece a couple more times and I uh, kept screwing it up. So I had to just uh, throw the work away and then just get a piece of steel. So this, I managed to get all done. See how it's gonna look. It goes like that. And let me bring you more in front. Okay, so you can see this. This part is gonna screw into another part, and then I'm gonna actually have a flange. That way I don't have to deal with pins or anything. This part right here is where the uh, expansion link rides, and it's right in the middle. So we're gonna part this off next. I switched back to the camera mount because I wasn't really happy with the shots I was getting um, on the magnetic mount. So now we have this piece, the stub of what's left. This is the actual diameter of that flange. So the only thing we need to do is we need to turn down a shoulder of 487 and a half thousandths and then we're going to drill it and tap it 10 by 24. So let's mark off or actually I got that wrong uh, hold on it's three three eighths we need to go go down three eighths so let's touch off at the front and this isn't super critical so I'm just gonna where are my calipers here they are isn't super critical at all so we're just gonna go 375. I made a little mark there. Actually, let me. There, now it's easier to see. We're going to turn this to a quarter inch. Right. Let's uh, spot this. Okay, so we're only going to go in a quarter of an inch. Alright, we have a bottoming tap. Yes, we're starting with a bottoming tap. It's okay because we're doing it in the way that everything is perfectly aligned. Let's just fit the other piece in. Okay. 
this. Well, I'm going to have to put spacers to make them uh, perfect, but I think that'll be all right. Let's take that out. All right, now I'm going to part this off. I'll do that off camera. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Let's try it for reals. This is going to be tricky. So the expansion link has to go in here first. And then through the fork. And then this goes through all of them. Okay, I got it. I just had to um, sand down the diameter that goes through the die block. Now, it, it works really nice stays on it. However, what I don't like is all of the it's able to do this. So I think what I want to do is um, put some spacers in here. This thing is going to have a lot of little fiddly parts. I'm going to put some spacers in there to sort of sandwich it so it can't move back and forth. Um, so I think I'll just do that on the lathe and uh, otherwise it works pretty good. A little stiff in some places but I, I still got a lot of tweaking to do with the file but this will this is coming along. So I think I'm going to just make those spacers off camera. They're, they're pretty easy to it's just a simple turning job. We're just going to turn it, drill it, part it. That's it. So uh, in, re in uh, retrospect I think I'm going to keep it the way it is right now. Now it wobbles back and forth, but when it's connected to the crankshaft uh, via two rods that go down, uh, it literally will be locked in a, a certain plane. It won't be able to do, to do this business because it, it will be locked to, the, to those bars. Um, or rods. So, and I think that'll work fine. Again, I... Um, I'll have to uh, I'll have to really just find out when I when I test run it but as of now I'm gonna leave this 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 is looking pretty good and um, we're gonna leave this for now and then deal with it later if it becomes a problem so that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time